Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So we've recently posted a short video showing you how to do uh, the filter function as an overview. And this video is going to go into a little bit more depth and of course talking you through it as we go. So in the example we have here, we've got uh, two columns. We've got a name and also a job title column. And of course, before we jump into this, you can obviously expand uh, this logic to cater to whatever scenario you are currently dealing with. But what we want to do here is use the job title we've got in our second column and split our names out as you can see in this left box. So I want a list of all my managers, all supervisors and then of course all assistants. Now the sort of, as we say, boring and manual way you might do this is of course to say, okay, what job title I want first? Manager. Okay, let's go down and find manager. So we can see we've got Cynthia and then we can also see we've got Nigel. Uh, paste them into there as well. And what other manager do we have? Oh, and we've also got the Dean here as well. And then just paste them in like so. This obviously works, but of course it is quite labor intensive. And as soon as you get onto things such as the supervisor or at least the assistant, where there are a lot more names, it becomes a little less practical to keep doing this copy and paste, let alone if your data set is significantly larger than the two columns you see I have here. But however, we can do this a lot quicker and cleaner using the Excel filter function. So what we'll do is we'll just jump straight into it and talk you through what we're doing as we do it. So the first thing of course we need to do is our equals and uh, type the word filter. And you can see the uh, requirements that we have in our filter function. So for us, the first part we need to provide is the list containing the values we you wish to filter. So which, what is the list of names that contain my manager names? So for me, I'm gonna simply click and drag to select this range here. So you can see all of my names from Jesse down to Dylan. And what I'm gonna do is also hit F4. And you can see upon hitting F4, it's given these dollar symbols around both the column and the cell row, or yeah, it is the cell row, sorry. Uh, of our cell references. And what this does, it just means that it, as we drag this formula along horizontally to supervise an assistant later on, it's always gonna be still referencing this range. If you don't do this F4 selection, then as you drag your formula, it's going to be looking at a different range, which is not applicable to the logic we're going to be providing. So this is our first piece of information, which is the list, or what is the list of names we wish to filter, comma, and now we need to provide our criteria. So we want to filter this list of names where everything in this second range, which I'm now selecting, and once again doing F4 to make sure that we are locked on this range. So we want to filter all of our names where the job title is equal to the value at the or in the header of that list. So if we now do close brackets, we can see, and again, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself now, but yeah, we can see we're gonna filter all of our names where the job title is least, uh, equal to B6, which for us is manager. And once we hit enter, you can see it's now given us our four managers uh, in that column. Now, rather than having to retype this formula every time we want to use it, so also typing it in for supervisor and assistant, all we're gonna simply do is go to our Symphia. So because that's the first value in the range, uh, as you can see, if you go to another or the second value, it's grayed out, so it, obviously it's not gonna work. But what we want to do is click our first range or first cell, sorry, and then using this little uh, icon in the bottom right corner, click and drag that across. And you can see it's now populated it with all our other names. And what I will just do is this little box popped up is go fill without formatting just so we don't mess up any of our borders that we had. Now, the great benefit of doing this is everything is now gonna remain dynamic. So should someone get promoted, so let's say Quentin, who's currently an assistant, let's put him as a supervisor and hit enter. You can see how that's now automatically updated here as well. It's worth noting that um, as we looked at, we referenced our um, job title based on where it currently sits, so currently in B6. However, if you don't want to make a reference and you just want to type in the title here or type in the job title, you could simply put manager in quotations like so, and the same for supervisor and assistant if you didn't have this uh, reference at the top here. And just to prove it's working, if I delete manager, you can see it's still been retained in there. 
So if this is the first time you've watched one of our videos and stumbled across our channel, or you've watched our videos in the past and you've still yet to subscribe, please could I ask you to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification button so that you are notified of our, all of our videos as they come out in the future. And lastly, if you did enjoy this video, could I please also ask you to hit that like button. Not only is it greatly appreciated by me because it helps me to see the content that you'd like to see more of, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm. So once again, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.